Got to make sure we don't dig anything up. Now the question is, where do we want to place ourselves? Oh yeah, let's go check if we've got any water buffalo in this area. Water buffalo? Water buffalo? Water buffalo. We have no water buffalo. Oh, that's okay. Oh, we got a little red cap circle. Cute. Okay. Hmm. So, I think what we're gonna do, we got these two pigman houses right here, but we got a bunch more like up and down the beach. Wow, we got a ton. Um, I'm gonna take a shovel to these two because I want I want my house to be more or less right here. Uh, right here. Okay, there we go. Cold pizza is the breakfast of champions. This is correct. I totally forgot to prototype the alchemy engine. I was not paying attention to that. All right, whatever. We'll go chop down some trees later uh, in the morning. I'm just going to chill out for the time being. Actually, we can go plant a couple of these while we wait. So we can start chopping now, can't we? Because, yeah, we need we need wood. Really bad. I don't want to go beaver, so we're going to have to be wary of that. But, yeah, nice part is... We've got a... We've got a little spider nest right here. It's not a big one, either. Okay. I guess... Well, they chase after me. Are they, they going to give up? No, they're not going to give up. Come on. Come on, Mr. Snakey. Snakey, snakey, snakey. Snakey, snake. Snake! I'm just gonna beat the tar out of him. Works great. So, yeah. I have to determine exactly what we, how we want to do wood gathering here. Because summoning the tree, tree guardians could be a problem. Beaver the monkeys. No, man. There's no way we're gonna be able to do that. Okay. There we go. Bunch of snake skin. Not really sure with what to do with it yet. <sighs> That's okay. Berry bushes too. But yeah. So the problem with beavering the mo monkeys to death is there's a very real possibility that the like extreme firepower that they have would make it impossible. Combo that with um. They're fast. It would be very easy for the monkeys to just stay away from me. And I'd just be, like, meaninglessly monkeying around. Uh, which would suck. I don't want to do that. I don't want to deal with that. Alright. But yeah, the problem with monkey firepower is simply... They could very realistically knock me out of beaver mode with all the damage... They might or might not be able to do. I'm not entirely sure how beaver mode works with uh, works with them, but it's not the kind of thing that I really want to deal with right now. Uh, do we have a hammer? No, we have no more hammer. Uh, it's okay. So let's see. We need we need wood. A lot more wood than we've got. I do have a shovel. Luckily, the stumps give you. Decent amount of wood for the amount required. Okay. So how many trees can we cut? I actually forget pretty easily how many, like, what the tree limit is. Oh man, look at all these berry bushes. Ah. The snakes, on one hand are fairly obnoxious. Now, interesting question. I wonder if Woody has... Uh, like, if Woody goes into beaver mode, will it clear poison from his system? That's an interesting question. I don't have an answer on that one, actually. That could be really good. 
That could be really effective. Okay, so I don't know how close I am to beaver time, but I feel like it's... Maybe it's because I went off and did something else that we quote-unquote calmed down? Eh, whatever. We'll heal. Okay, I'm also gonna have to burn down some trees, aren't I? Unfortunately, we don't have a whole lot of uh, separate, like separated out trees. So it's not, it's not going to be easy to get some charcoal from this. We need to get a lot of charcoal too. I want to say it's like six. Ugh. All right, uh, these kind of work. Okay, burn, baby, burn. Oh, fuck. Huh. Um. Well. Guess we don't live around spiders anymore. Hmm. You know, that could have gone better. At least we got charcoal for days. And with the spiders, we don't have to worry about it too much. And because we saved most of the berry bushes, I think we only lost one there, which is pretty okay by me, and yeah, we'll we'll always have monster meat. That's one nice thing about this. Uh, because the snakes are ever-present. We didn't lose the whole forest. That would have that would have been a problem if we lost the whole forest. Uh, we probably lost some, like, bamboo and vines and stuff, too. But, yeah, that could have gotten really out of hand, especially if it if it came in contact with the um, berry bushes in the center. I would have been real sad with that. Uh, but it didn't. We're okay. We'll just make it work from here. And now I can make a crock pot. Mmm. That's good shit. Okay. Um, food's problem for a bit. We'll leave that alone. Wood's okay. Let's make the alchemy engine in whatever chest I can make. That'll be a good stopping point. Or not stopping point, but like a, a good goal here. So we need... What do we need for an alchemy engine? Four planks. Well, I guess we might as well make as many boards as we can muster. Get the rest out of here. Man, it is peaceful not having to worry about, uh... Not having to worry about monkeys coming for your... All your shit. I hate that. Like, they're kind of an interesting challenge, but I just hate them. They're not fun. Okay, so we've got... we got the boards down. We need... Doodads. Thermal measure. It doesn't seem really useful. And we probably need three more cut stone. Okay. Is that it? Yep. Science. Okay, so now we've got that prototyped. We need a hammer. Again. We always need more hammers. Okay. So now... Alchemy engine. Okay, cool. Might as well grab the seeds. We're gonna need way more of those along the way. Though, I guess if we get that birdcage down, we'll be good in that regard, too. Uh, food's a concern. No, it's not. Ah, uh, food. Speaking of food, crockpot, what do we need? More cut stone. Well, luckily I've got plenty. Food, crockpot. Okay, we might as well start with, uh... We might as well start with meatballs, right? Yeah. Oh, right, it's instantaneous because of, uh, because of one of the mods I've got running. Ah, I like that. 
I can work with that pretty well. Uh, let's see, we've got a silly amount of bananas, so I'm just probably going to hold on to them for a while. Um, hmm. We got a ton of poo. Oh, hello. Maybe I didn't need all those boards. Oh, well. Uh, let's see. Y yeah, I probably didn't need to burn that. So yeah, we've pretty much got food for days. Speaking of, can I make a drying rack? What do I need? Rope. Okay. So let's grab... Let's make a couple drying racks here. Because we'll probably have a ton of monster meat. Over time. Okay, so that's... That's enough for two. Okay. So I'm gonna put the drying racks up and over here. Cause this way we can this way we can dry some of the monster meat and save that for later. Yeah, those boards that was kind of excessive. Whatever. Hang these up to dry. Cool. We got trees, we got some mushrooms, though that's not useful. We need to go back to we need to go back to choppy choppy. We need we need at least one chest, probably two. Isomatic will produce a lot of ice and food for ages. Can you dry bananas? I wish. So honestly, like, food isn't the issue in, um, Don't Starve from what I can tell. Or not, <laughs> not, uh, Don't Starve. Food is not the issue in, um, in, uh, Shipwrecked. Which surprised me a little bit when I was first playing the game, because, like, you know, I was expecting food would be, like, the number one go-to problem. But no, actually, food food ultimately just is... It, it's a problem, but ultimately it's like... It's the it's the weather that kills you. Uh, in this one. Let's see. I'm trying to only go for the, like, the big mature trees. Just because we've got a limited amount of time that we can chop for. Uh, let's see. So I think after this, we're going to want to hop in... Hop on our boat. Let's see, shovel. I guess we might as well produce a couple of farms with whatever rocks we can. Here, we got a couple over this direction. But we're going to want to hop on a boat, on our boat, and head, head over to this island. It's got a spider spider nest, uh, but it's got a ton of rocks. And if we can collect that, that would be a good, good situation. We're going to end up with more uh, pine cones than... We started with. That's not really a concern, though. But yeah, I want to prep for... Um, I want to prep for winter as best as possible, and I desperately want to prep for... Um, for, like, sanity loss. Because anytime we go woody, my sanity is going to drop really hard. Burn that jungle. No. Um, because, like, once it starts raining, this gets a bit harder, just because this character... With a fair amount of, like, frequency, just loses his goddamn mind. Which is fun, but very, very, uh, obnoxious at the wrong time. If you're unprepared. So the idea of getting, like, a tent together would be a good idea. Getting, um, getting a ton of sand. In fact, we should probably go bananas for sand almost immediately. Uh, so once we get, like, six farms going... I got a ton of sticks. Oh, right. I got them all from the monkeys. But yeah, if I can go for, uh, if I can collect a ton of sand, and I'm a, almost to the point where I could, like, surround my base in, um, sandbags, that could work great. Especially because I want to say the wolves can't bust their way through, uh, sandbags and stuff. Didn't realize this game had beaches. Uh, this is, like, the alternative version of the game. Oh, thought my pickaxe broke. There it goes. Yeah, this is the alternative version of the game that has beaches and stuff. Which I actually, I love this game. In both incarnations. I like this one more just because it's a little bit more inventive, I think. But I love the other one, uh, the uh, normal mode just as much. Just because. 
I guess I feel like in this one you spend a lot more time out and about doing things. If you can. Okay. Um, you know, let's start shoveling some sand. We got the space in my inventory. And these sand piles recover. Let's see, I will not ever um, collect from limpid rocks. Okay. Speaking of hammer. Did I lose it? Nope, there's my hammer. Do I have enough? Yeah. Okay. Let's drop the doubloons on the ground for the time being. Let's grab this. I'm gonna swap it out with one of the bananas. Let's make some meatballs. I got a ton of bananas. Okay, so we got that taken care of. Uh, let's bust up this pig man house. I do not want to have very direct net. I do not want to have very direct neighbors. Oh shit, he does not like that. Get out of here. Chill your tits. I just broke your house. Ow. They hurt, actually. That hurts pretty bad. Hmm. I wonder if I can feed him. No. Looks like feeding him is off the table. Alright, guess we're just gonna have to wait until he forgets about us. That seems unlikely. I wonder if I can just leave. Let's just leave for a while. He'll probably forget if I just leave the zone. Uh, let's go shovel some sand while he gets while he just freaks out. He has a surprisingly long memory, apparently. Okay. Persistent bastard. Well, I'm just gonna go hang out at home. I actually didn't know, know that they would actually, like, be angry at you forever if you do this. Alright. Uh, if this is the case. Do I have grasses? Cool. Problem is, that's gonna be a problem. Ah. Can I make a spear? Cool. I already got one. Can I make more rope? Yes. He is very persistent about this. I did- I did destroy his house. Alright. He does not forgive. He does not forget. Terrifyingly impressive. I don't actually know how to fight pigmen properly. Oh, you know what I- I can do. I'm just gonna dodge him for a while. What's up with that guy? Eh, I broke his house. It, he didn't like that. He did not like that one bit. Drop the niter on the ground. We get a lot of that. Grab the meatballs. Meatballs get. Cool. So... One trick I realize about this game, and one of the reasons why I'm not super, like, upset about the fact that there's a pig man currently just, like, murder- trying to murder fuck me, is we got a boat. And the moment you hop on a boat, most enemies forget about you. Which enemy causes you the most trouble in this game? Absolutely the dogs. 
Fuck the dogs, man. Alright. Uh, let's see. So we've got a ton of stone I can get more. We've got a fair amount of shit. Okay. Let's see. Oh shit, Woody has two full moons. Oh god. I think you actually sleep through them. Sort of. It'll be interesting to see. Uh, when we get... When it becomes full moon time, I'm probably gonna sit myself on another island and just go to absolute... Absolutely freaking nuts. Maybe not, though. I mean, as long as I'm going going to town on the jungle trees, we should be okay. Uh, I don't want to go after the pi the um, palm trees, because that's how we get a guardian. Uh, but, like, at this point, I can mostly deal with snakes. Even the venomous ones, honestly. Oh, whoops. But getting... Getting beaten on by a... Uh, Tree Guardian is probably liable to kill me. And I don't want to deal with that. Now we're going to have to bust up one more... One more Pigman house. I want to believe. Because if we can if we can bust up the one more Pigman house, we get a... Um, we'll, be able to, we'll be able to get our hands on um, the bigger backpack. It does tell me... Nope, it will not tell me... How to make that one. That's unfortunate. Because, yeah, if I, if I could make a bigger backpack... Um, oh, shit. Yeah, we should probably stop by the touchstone over here. As we go by. Actually, come to think of it. This solves my pigman... Uh, pigman skin problem. I know it's technically wild boar, but still. So, yeah. There we go. We actually have a touchstone that's in our base. Or, on our base island. Cool. And yeah, this way we get a bunch of... This way we get a bunch of, uh... Pig skin. And we can do some things. Cool. We'll have plenty of shit, and once I'm done with this island, assuming that it, we don't get poisoned and killed, we'll be able to live fairly comfortably. Yeah! Oh, look at that. It's even got some stone in it. Or, some gold. I like that. Let's see. Fortunately, I've got a particularly nasty hangnail on my hand. Not a big deal, but it's always one of those where it's like you kind of... You become dimly aware of them, and you're always just like... Mm, uh, I hate it. I don't even know. Let's see, if you do happen to... happen to, If you happen to anger a tree guard, you can plant trees near the, them to calm them down. Yep. Only jungle trees work for some reason. Really? Do you mean jungle or do you mean palm trees? Because there's a difference. And it would be really weird if it if it was jungle and not palm. It's like, you've chopped my brethren down. Oh, hey, you gave me neighbors of a different species. Weird. Did I restart? Yes. I got sick of, I got sick of Monkey Island. There was no way I was going to be able to do that one. I also revealed the map. What, once the map is like... Like, once world gen for uh, Shipwrecked is better, then I probably will... Uh, not reveal it, but for now, I'm just gonna leave that shit revealed. It'll be easy. So yeah, ideally... Uh... Be pretty nuts if, um... We go beaver. And we just move to this island, and it's like, alright. All of these trees, gone. That could be really useful. I don't know. It'll be, int it'll be interesting to see. Let's finish this. We got a pretty good setup here. Yeah, wood is going to be a problem just because of the artificial limitation we have on. And then we... Yeah, no, it would be better to come to this island. Let's see, why didn't I move from the uh, the monkey island in the previous run? Uh, mainly because it was too late. It was already day 12. We weren't, we weren't going to have a good setup. We weren't going to find a good island uh, before, you know the rainy season started hitting. And that just wasn't going to be... That just wasn't going to be enjoyable. We weren't going to make it in time. And judging by, like, a, a fully, uh... Judging by, like, a fu fully explored map, there's a very real possibility that you can go through, like, an entire run and never find an island you will like. Which is... 
kind of sad, actually. Oh, well. Looking pretty good, though. But yeah, oh man. It'd be pretty fun to just go all woody on this. Okay. Do we wanna... Yeah, let's just, let's just mine this entire place out. That means if we ever have to go elsewhere, we won't have to make a second trip back. Just to get the small amount of remaining resources here. That would be silly. Okay. Getting dark. Do I end up spending a night here? I might not get a choice. I guess it's not terrible, though. Cause yeah, I'm not I'm not making making it back to my base in time. I guess I could just use the torch. Just kind of bro out for a second. That might actually be easier. Yeah, cause that doesn't use that doesn't use wood. It just uses sticks and other things, which I have many of many of. There we go. Probably pretty bad for my sanity, but I'm just gonna run around doing this. Now, the problem is the one the one main issue with this this area. Oh shoot! You know what? Let's not do that. One main issue with this is we're not gonna be able to make a whole lot of garlands while we're here. Oh well. I think we'll be okay. There should be a fair amount of flowers inside this little jungle zone, if I'm not mistaken. Could be wrong. I guess I can always go flower hunting. Oh wait, no, 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 we get a ton of, we get a ton of flowers back, uh, back home. Hey. Spider web, what, what can we drop off for a second? Let's drop the seashell, that's not going anywhere. There we go. Cause yeah, we do desperately need spider web. Uh, Use the axe. Perfect. Did I pick up the spider web? What did I drop? Uh, mm, mm. Oh, did I drop the torch? Probably dropped the torch. Okay, it's fine. Name of the minimap mod. Uh, search by most popular. It's probably right there, actually. Uh, I think the I think the basic minimap mod should work for what you want. Okay, are you still pissed at me? Nope. Cool. He has totally forgotten about my existence. Yes. Victory achieved. Okay, so what do, we, what do we need to do? We need a chest real bad. So let's drop some of these things. Please tell me I have enough... I do not have enough wood for the requisite planks, do we? Well, that's fine. Let's go get... Let's go get a little bit more. We'll be okay. Let's see, did I touch the touchstone yet? Yes. Yes, I did. I only make those mistakes once. And that's fine. I'm hearing like weird noises outside. Like rumbles. It's concerning. Because I honestly could not tell you what they would be. Yeah, what would be rumbling in my neighborhood? It's one of the creepy things about being home alone. Is that weird noises are extra spoopy. I don't even know. Watch out for poison snakes dropping out of these trees. They only drop out of the trees when you uh, chop them down, admittedly. Okay. I think we're okay in that regard. Okay, we need one more plank. Okay, luckily we don't have to worry about fires, so we're pretty much golden here. Okay, let's start dropping stuff off. Actually, while we're here, let's take a look. What what do we need for the piggyback? Oh god, we need a lot of we need a lot of spider web. 
Alright, well, let's drop that off. Let's drop that off, drop that off. Ooh, actually, we should plant these. Um... What else can I drop off? I guess I don't need the machete, the spear, or the hammer for a little while. Because at this point, I think I'm going to be working on farms. Let's pick up the niter. Actually, let's pick up all this stuff. We might as well store it away just in case it starts getting windy. Because uh, once it starts getting windy, we lose all of these things. And we do not want that. Okay, we need another chest. That's not surprising in any way, shape, or form. Oh, it's fireworks! I'm a moron! <laughs> I totally forgot! People set off fireworks. It's New Year's. I mean, admittedly, it's only 11 o'clock, but it's New Year's. Wow! I am king dumbass of not paying attention to what day it is. Happy New Year's, everybody, that's... I guess... Who would... Iceland. Yeah, there we go. All you people in Iceland, you probably just hit the New Year's. There we go. Okay, um... I believe the crockpot actually probably has some stuff in it, doesn't it? No, it doesn't. Alright, well, let's fill it up. Let's make some meatballs. Let's eat some meatballs. Beautiful. Not fireworks, but rocks! Ah. I don't want people throwing rocks at my house. That'd suck. Yeah, okay. This is shaping up to be a pretty good, pretty confidence-inspiring uh, spot. It's a little bit awkward, and I'd love to have uh, access to a couple more biomes uh, a little bit faster, but that's okay. We need a ton of grass, though, so let's start gathering that. Uh, we'll have a ton of berries whenever we want them, so that's okay. Uh, let's see what else we want to do here. Not much, really. So I think, I think I'm just going to make it to the rainy season, then I'm going to stop. Uh, just because we've been playing a substantial amount of, uh... Don't Starve Tonight. And it is nice to switch from game to game occasionally. But, yeah. I don't know. I, I've i never been much of a, um... I've never been much of a holiday person. Uh, so, back when I was a kid, the concept of, um... The concept of, like, 4th of July was... I mean, it was okay, but whatever. I was never particularly patriotic enough to care too much about it. And, um... And... Like... New Year's. New Year's for me as a kid was the the only time I I had permission to stay up past mi uh, to midnight. Like... It was silly. Uh, let's see. You know, I'm just gonna go throw these now. Where's my... There it is. I'm gonna mine these up. We'll keep the limpid rock. But we're actually gonna plant these, like, right here. 